Hello everyone, uh, this is your boy again, Nelly Cage. I do not usually post video on this uh, Chinese because uh, I'm not interested, but uh, I do post video when I think that people need some information to help them out in whatever situation they find themselves. So here I have two Dell Venus Pro 11. 5130 that's the code so on this one i just uh finished installation uh, i mean uh installation of windows 10 so uh, i found a little problem which i went to youtube to see if i can get some help uh, what i got was not really what i needed but here i just want to post some video how how i was able to solve uh, this situation you can see this is this is windows 10 pro just like this very one also because i have it too i thought i lost my first one which is this so I I got I never knew I left it in a friend's car. So I have to order another one, which because I I love this Dell Pro because you can you can make use of it when you need it. You can take it along wherever you want it. Although the memory is not that big, but it is useful for me every time when I need it. To go to internet to make my video uh, calls, a uh, hangout video calls, <laughs> it has everything. You, there's a place where you can even insert your SIM card and uh, you can connect directly from your laptop and uh, uh, go to the web and search whatever you want. Uh, so here, I just want you people to see this one I got from the from eBay run the same thing on the same uh, windows 10 pro so it took me two days to find out how to install from the usb card so if you really want to install from the usb card you can get one of these if you wish then uh, I'm not really here to talk about how to install, but I just want to give you a few tips on how to install. Then you have to get one of these to connect to the USB port so that you can be able to put in your, your wire mouse and your USB key that you have the software downloaded from wherever, I don't know, whether from Windows, from third party stores or wherever you get it from. Uh, that is not really why I'm here but the reason why I'm here is just for you to understand that after installation there is still more things to do but people do make mistakes from uh, installing the drivers so which I, I did several times and I find that the exact problem and what you need to do not to make such mistake also so after installing the windows you can find out that the the touch screen will not be working anymore the keyboard will not be working then the volume up volume down will not be working you 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 will lose your internet uh, your display and so many other things so if you are lucky after installing maybe your wi-fi will be working then you can uh, you can update your software from your wi-fi so which is uh, also good but if you are not lucky after installation you got no wi-fi you got no um, sim card connections that you can be able to the broadband that you can be able to uh, navigate so that you can download the software needed but if you really want to do fresh installation, 
deleting everything you have because uh, I don't want to go into installation. Uh, that is not the reason why I'm here. The reason why I'm here is how to solve the problem after installation, after installing your Windows 10, whether it is Pro, Windows Home, Basic, or whatever. So I found out that this software here that I downloaded from Dell original site you can also find that from Dell if you wish so hello so this is some of the software that I, I tried I tried all the software and no one worked for me but later I found out that the problem was not the softwares all of them are good but how you start your installation matters a lot because you need the right one at the right time if you miss the step you're going to restart everything over and over again and it's going to be be a big problem for you because uh it will keep shutting you down and errors errors so i found out that this software here was the first one or the first one you need to install which is uh, Intel Atom Z300 series chip driver then you install that one first and allow the computer to to do its own work or you know it will install the driver the the AVGA the display the torch the sound if you are lucky maybe you can install also the Wi-Fi but uh, sometimes it does not so after installing allow the computer to reboot after rebooting so if you got your touch screen working good if you got no touch screen uh, you need you need a an additional software but for me in uh, their Venus Pro 11 five one three zero this software will work perfectly then all i needed to add was this this one here which is five ten five one three zero network drivers you can see it's a little bit different here from others so this is the very one the very one you need to complete your installation. No, I'm not. So this one here is what you need to complete your installation. With this, you got your Wi-Fi working, and then you are you are done. So if you are able to get your Wi-Fi working, so you. All you need to do is just to go ahead and uh, finish your update from uh, Windows. I think uh, it will be more better like that. It's more than uh, installing each software. And uh, at the time, by the time you make mistakes, you find out that your computer will start complaining of errors here, error that, and the computer will start freezing. So that is. Uh, what i came here to show you people today on how to get their venus 11 pro back online after installation so about installation you can watch other chinese on youtube on your mouse your usb your usb key and how to download the software but I just came here to to show you people that are, are after my installations everything was successfully you can see the touch work everything is working perfectly so it's not so everything work perfectly so I have the sound every everything work perfectly after installation so you can go go try it out and see for yourself 
you'll find out that what I'm saying is true. For their Pro 11 5130, this is all just what you need. What you need is just two software and you are done. Then you can, uh, you can install the rest yourself from there. So... See, everything is working. The sound, volume. When you take off the the the, the screen from the key keyboard, you have everything perfectly and working. So that is what I came here today to share with you people. So. Thank you for viewing this. Uh, if you like it, uh, please leave me a comment or if, if you don't really understand, uh, send me a message then I will send you a link where you can get the software.